Well, hi there. It's Barbara from Embracing Your 60s. So today, my goal is to be under four minutes, so I'm gonna talk really fast. So take notes. Okay, before I even begin, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I don't, it doesn't cost anything. I just want you to have it so that when I get a new video up, it goes, you find out right away. All right, so today we're talking about something <clears throat> called Dodge the Darkness. So I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna be serious for about 30 seconds, and then we're not. Then we'll be done with the serious. Dodge your darkness for me is to dodge the depression. When we get into our 60s, we have more and more things to be depressed about. Many of us are widows. Many of us have lost both parents. You've lost close friends and relatives. And you're feeling a little like I'm here, but there's a lot of people around me gone. That's depressing. You know, people that are sick or uh, trying to survive cancer or, I mean, there's just all kinds of things. Not to mention the world today. That's depressing right there. Anyway, so when you wake up every day, there's a good chance that the darkness is there waiting for you to jump in. Uh-uh, I'm dodging the darkness every day. So you can do little things to help you. Uh, some of us um, really prefer wine to do that. <laughs> Go for it. I'm not drinking wine right now because if I drink wine, then I can't fall asleep. Again, dodge the darkness. Choose what it is for a little something to pick you up, all right? I also have another idea for you. It's the three R's. It's to rethink, which we have to do, reshape and refine. That's it. Rethink, reshape, refine. The rethink part is this. You have to find a way to stay away from the darkness. So when you wake up and you feel it coming on, you move immediately to another place. You take yourself to another place quick, all right? Tell yourself a funny joke. Think of something that made you laugh so hard. You could have been 10 years old when this happened that you remember. Just do it. Or do a little reshaping, and that might help also. For me, the reshaping was to go to my closet. Three things. Number one, take out all the clothes that are above my knee. I don't care if you have great legs or not. When you get to be our age, you need to lower the length. Put it to your knee or below. Trust me, you'll look a lot better, and you'll feel better. Okay, that's number one. Number two, go and buy yourself some new bras. For those of you that have become a different shape on top, and you like, where did these come from? I haven't had these since I was nursing my babies. Go buy new bras. Go get a nice, sexy bra, enjoy, and they lift you up. You will avoid surgery. Put this on, you'll feel great, nothing's hanging. I know my daughter sometimes, sometimes says to me, Mom, are you wearing a bra? Of course I am. Well, I just don't think it's giving you enough support. All right, I did it. First, I went and I got one of this. It had the harness thing back. Like, the back was like this thick, this wide. I'm like, I can't do this. Anyway, I went to a really good place, and I got myself some new bras. Yes, they were expensive, but I feel like a million bucks in them. Much better. No darkness here, okay? And lastly, I'm going to tell you what else you should do. And this is what I'm going to do. One day, a long time ago, these things were very fashionable. The house coat and the shift. And maybe you remember your grandparents wearing these. I mean, my grandparents were totally into the shift or the house coat. Actually, my grandma's, one of them snapped all the way down. It could be kind of sexy. You could just have a few snaps going and leave this open with your new beautiful bra. Yeah, I'm going back to the house coat and the shift. Hey, I'm gonna wear a little shift today and meet my friend for lunch. That's right. So do that, just do it. And don't worry about stripes going the wrong way or wearing too bold of colors or splashes or big flowers or what. Just do it. That'll keep you out of the darkness, trust me. Anyway, finally, um, I'm gonna tell you for the, re, the complete finished product, so we've got rethink, reshape, and refine. Your refining comes in with this. You know the movie stars that stand up and pick up their awards, their Oscars or whatever, and they go, thank you so much. That was like so wonderful. Oh my God. But I really have to thank my team. I would be nowhere without my team. Team? Yeah, like you and I could have a team. We're a team of one. Us. We have a team of one. I'm going to invite you to pick a team of one plus. I have a team of one plus now. Who's my one plus? It's a safety patrol guard. 
That's right. It happens to be my daughter. Because a safety patrol guard will protect you from the evils, okay? For young children, it's traffic. For us, it's walking out the door and having people stare at us the wrong way. So my safety patrol is my daughter. So if she comes to visit me, like for a weekend, and I just say to her, oh, I'll be right back, honey. I'm just going to run some errands. I'll get one of these. Oh, um, okay, mom. Um, yeah, um, okay. Uh, and I'll be, well, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing, nothing. I just, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I, should I change? It doesn't look good? Well, it's okay. All right, there it is. That's the safety patrol guard. If she's not here, sometimes, I'm so reliant on her now for this. I love her to pieces. Oh my God, she's incredible. I'm so reliant that I'll send her a picture if I don't trust myself. I'm not sending her the pictures of the shift slash house code, okay? She'll never see those. Uh-uh. No. Because I'm wearing those again. I'm going to go find myself some of those. So that's it. That's all. I just gave it to you. It's the three R's. Go for it. This will help you dodge the darkness. Rethink, reshape, refine. And go get yourself those things I told you and your plus one. A team of one plus. That's it for today. Enjoy your day.